Okay, boom. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Top 5 tonight. We have our two recurring panelists with us, uh, Yahweh and Marvin. Uh, Marvin, can you say what's up to everybody, please, bro? Peace, peace, love, blessings, and protections, as always. Yes, sir. And Yahweh, can you say what's up to everybody? Black people, what's going on? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right, listen, we're doing top five fight scenes in the movie um, and also top five trash talkers in wrestling. And I look forward to uh, hearing this as well as some NFL predictions at the end of uh, the segment. Uh, Mimi says, Naina says, peace family. Mimi says, peace family. Peace, y'all. All right, let's get straight into it. Uh, we can start with you, Marvin. Top five fight scenes in the movie. Uh, I got Fist the Legend and Dojo scene when he come looking for, for, for whoever mm -hmm. he was looking for. I don't remember who yeah. he was looking for, but he put a lot of people on his way to look for him. <laughs> yeah, you can't get wrong with that. Jet Li, Jet Li was on. That's how I got introduced to Jet Li was because of that movie. That's when Jet Li was in his prime. Yeah, yeah, that's how I got introduced. He's on my list because he's one of my favorites, but not but Fist the Legend can't get wrong with that. That's how I got introduced to him. All right, let us know what y'all lists are. Uh, Mimi and Naima, it might be like um, Living Single or something, whatever, like girl movie with fight scenes or something. Set it off or something. I don't know. All right. Uh, um, Yahweh, what you got? Top five fight scenes in the movie. So I'm not big on like karate movies or like fights. I'm going to do big in the fight sports, but I'm going to go okay. ahead and for my number five, I went with uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar versus Bruce Lee. Okay. Okay. You can't get wrong with that. For and sure. main reasons because I was impressed because Kareem is seven like seven three, doing all this stuff like keeping up with a what five seven Bruce Lee. Like think about it, Bruce Lee is yeah, one of the most yeah. athletic people in the world, and that just showed how athletic Kareem truly was. Like his footwork was like crazy. So yeah, I went with Kareem. You can't go wrong with that. And, and it's like it's that's how you know we love movies because. Bruce Lee wasn't messing with none of these people in real life. I don't care. No, like he ain't beat Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Like I just don't see that. Like Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Like it's like somebody beating Shaq. I'm not saying you can't beat Shaq up, but if Shaq was really wanting to fight, you know, in his prime. Nah, you know, I was gonna say Kareem was getting Bruce up out of here. Kareem Jabbar is probably coming down. Like it's just like all right, all right. The, you the link, the link alone gives him an advantage that he. Yeah. You know, can't. I say then when he punched that one dude, that one um or on the Celtics, on the Celtics. Yeah, when he punched that one dude on the yeah, Celtics, yeah, yeah, yeah. ended his whole yeah. career. Yeah, yeah, no, we not, we ain't, we ain't playing. Uh, Naima, that's my number one. You already know what it is. All right, listen, my number five, Mike Tyson and It Man Three. Uh, let me tell y'all something. Mike Tyson, my favorite fighter. You put him in a movie and you see him throwing the punches and do and doing and fighting against a martial artist. It's just, it's a great scene. Ask me if I seen the movie. No. Have I seen that scene? Yes, I have. <laughs> hey, because I don't like, I don't like, are, I don't like subtitles. Josh, I, I don't like you. subtitles, Marvin. I'm not dealing with the subtitles, bro. I'm not dealing with it. They got they got the dub version on Tubi. Oh, okay, they I got know. All I know that. Man's on Tubi, which is with, 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 with the sound, with the dub. With the dub, yeah, they got the dub version. Okay, I can do that because you know it's like we don't know. You know, I used to watch rap movies like that. <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with no sub. I mean, with no subtitles. I'm like, oh God. All right, let's go. Mark, what you got for number four? Top five fight okay. scenes? Uh, the the last fight scene in Infinity War. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, uh, you, you can't get better than all the greatest superheroes ever created <laughs> on one battlefield and villains, and you going crazy. You got people coming from everywhere. And, and the, the way they capture that, like, you just, you just got to, like, stop and, uh, like, appreciate how they capture everything, bro. That's, it's just so dope to, and how you got to watch it over and again. And he's like, yeah, I didn't even see that the first time. So much happened. Listen, I, I've, I've only seen it uh, one time. I, I, haven't, I haven't revisited it because I'm not dealing with that. Like, it was it was like, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to have to pick. Because listen, there was some emotions going through. It was like, yo. You know? Hey, I, no, I feel yeah. that because I don't even, whenever, bro, whenever I'm watching and, 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 uh, Iron Man is about to die. I, I, I fast forward to to him talking on the screen, and then I I I, I can't do this because talk him hearing him talk like yeah, after he's dead. Oh my yeah. god, bro! And then because you because you still got Black Panther in real life. That I don't want to read. You know, Chad Boswick. I don't want to see that. Then I don't yeah. want to see Spider Man saying I, I feel funny. Yeah, I just, it's not, it's, oh yeah, that was yeah. tough right there. I, I, yeah. I feel funny. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> 
That's a villain. Yeah, that's like that's like that's like that's how you that's how you become a legend, right there. I told, I told you that story, Josh, in the movie theater. There was a biker gang in front of us, and they yeah. said, "It's like, oh shit, is he dead?" I was like, "Yeah, oh, listen, that's that's what oh, I, I've man. never, I literally have never seen it again. I can't. I'm like, like yeah, I'm about to say that one was too right. tough. That one, it was yeah. good, but it was too tough. All right, y'all, what you got for number four? Number four, I have Apollo Creed versus Ivan Drago. Okay, Ivan Drago whooping that ass. And making this famous scene, if he dies, if he you dies. Die. You know that's on my list. That's that's I'm that's my that's my number three for sure. You already. And what made it. me think of that was today yeah. I was watching a Joe Rogan clip, and he and uh, who was talking? It was Terrence Crawford. He was talking okay. to Joe Rogan. He was like, hey, Joe Rogan was like, you ever felt? Did you feel bad when you were fighting against um, Earl Spence when you were? He was like, man, nah. He's like, I went straight Drago on him. If he dies, he dies. If he like, dies, oh, he I dies. Watch that scene. Uh, Listen, Rock, Rocky Four is my favorite Rocky. I love all the Rockies, but Rocky Four is just like that's how that not the greatest. Listen, and and I don't know how that dude looks. I mean, I seen him in Creed, in Creed too, but I, I've never just like seen him compared to other people like in real life. But the camera way, the way they made him seem on the camera, he was the original thing. Though. <laughs> he, was nah, a, he, a big, he was a big ass dude in real life. He was big like, in real life. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah the he camera was like, a body, he was like a bodybuilder with Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger and stuff. Yeah, like, nah, so that's where. See. Yeah, that's where Sylvester Long met him. Yeah, now that you get hit by him, you gonna die. Like, ain't no, ain't no doubt about it. I think about his old ass made his son look small. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. My 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 uh, number four is Rush Hour Two. Um, in the spa, I I, I love to see Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Mm. They flipping and they and they flipping in the chairs. They back to back. You know what I'm saying? Hand in hand. It's like okay, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, that's dope. And, and it's the evolution of, of you know of Carter. You know what I'm saying? Carter, like, nah, I, I can actually throw some punches and kicks with you now. That's really yeah, yeah so I like that. I'm a big, a big Rush Hour fan, but uh Rush Hour 2 is just you know another level. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I hope they make one more, bro. They gotta make one more. As long as it's good, they don't miss it. <laughs> do you do can't they they can't miss, bro? They won't yeah, miss you it. can't really mess Rush Hour up. You can't it, okay, not with the original cast. I just, I just want them to have the writers the same, you know what I'm saying, inappropriate, they, they're racist jokes, like everything that they say the same. Bite it like a, a bite it like you're from Africa and all, whatever the jokes they're going to make, don't make it politically correct. And I'm like, <laughs> no, he say, he say, yeah, I bitch got you back to Africa. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I don't want no P, like keep, keep all the jokes. Yeah, and you can tell, you can tell Jackie worked hard on the mannerisms, bro, because yeah, yeah, he's not yeah. even like that, but he, at that moment, mm -hmm. he's like, damn, Jackie meant that shit. Yeah, yeah. Marvin, I love how you call Jackie Chan Jackie like you went to school with him. Uh, it's, it's Jackie, man. What you mean? <laughs> uh, Naima says she loves Rush Hour, too. Okay, thank yes, Naima. We, anytime you want to watch Rush Hour, just, just let me know, by the way. All right, number three, what you got, Marvin? Uh, number three, I got It Man, Mike Tyson, and the uh, epic clash between okay, 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 okay. one of the greatest boxers of all time and a uh, 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 underrated martial artist. Cause uh, what's his name? Donnie, Donnie. I can't think of his last name, but dude, man. If when you watch It Man, I promise you, bro, you are gonna see he like Jet Li on steroids, bro. For real. Okay, okay. Listen, I, I, I don't. That, I like the I like the way the, the choreography. I just don't understand the character development and the build up and all that for it, but yeah, bro, it's it's the story of Bruce Lee's master, bro, and it's really happening, bro. When you get into the story, there's no way you like once you get past that, you're gonna be like, man, you gonna have to see what happened, what happened. But now Yahweh told me he got the, the, the dub version. I'm gonna I'm watch it. All right, let's yeah. go, y'all. What you got for number three? Number three, I got Rush Hour One. I got the um, scene in the pool. Um, yeah, that, that, yeah, that, yeah, that was. What's up, my nigga? And then <laughs> just get straight to it. <laughs> That's what get I'm saying. Do y'all think these same jokes can get made in 2023? Yeah, yeah I, I think they can. Look, you know why? Because Jackie's so corny but cool, so it's going to work regardless. Yeah, yeah I'm saying. Saying, it depends on who it is. Like, if it's somebody who tries to be politically correct or like woke ish, like, hell no, nah, you can't do that. But if it's somebody like just some random ass, like Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan random as hell. What's up, my nigga? Like, yeah. Listen, you can't go. Hey, I hope that brings Sue Young back, man. Come on, now she grown now. What's up? Add some characters from back in the day or something. 
There you go. Did you choose no suit young? Brother? No, I'm saying like Don Cheadle, like like bring the, like make them. Oh yeah, bring them like, back. Yeah, yeah like, I, forgot, like, I forgot all about Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle, so you, like make like tie it yeah. all up. Like you know, she's gonna do oh, it. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. I'm trying to think of what he was in Rush Hour One, One, One. Uh-huh. Yeah, Rush Hour One. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, just don't make it like Rush Hour goes to Africa. Like, nah, man, nah, keep the storyline in, intact. Uh, matter of fact, Rush Hour go to Africa might be wrong. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Hey, I was about to say that's fire, boy. Oh, that shit. I was about to say that shit. Oh, that shit. You might that's be on the song, Jack. I swear. You. See, I'm trying to keep the Sue Young story now, but she got kidnapped as a grown person or something. And y'all talk about go to Africa. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Africa, they fight against Mutombo or some shit. That shit will be crazy, Jack. Thank you for that, y'all. Wait for Mutombo. That's the rule. All right, my number three is. I always mention this movie because I think I'm the only person who likes it. Chris Rock, uh, Joe Pesci, and Lethal Weapon 4. But Jet Li and Lethal Weapon 4. Jet, if y'all watch Lethal yeah. Weapon 4. Yeah, bro. He was, and he was a villain for once. Man, Jet Li is in that thing. Killing Snap. I, I never thought, I mean, I thought Mel Gibson, of course, a killer. He brave and stuff. But I think of him as weapons and stuff like that. Mel Gibson was throwing hooks and stuff underwater with Jet Li. Like, boom, 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 boom. boom. Like, it's like, what? What is happening right now? So, yeah. Yeah, lose weapon four. Y'all give it a chance. Number two, what you got, Marvin? I got end game. Okay, end game fight scene. Because I, if I'm not mistaken, that's when uh when Captain America get the the signal in on his look to your right, and then you know the circle open. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, man, yeah. I knew they was gonna come, bro. I knew y'all was coming. So I, I, have, I have it. I have it rewatched it again. But I remember when when he when they gave the signal and they said Mbaye and uh, everybody was coming, I was like, yeah, okay, oh, okay. That's a be- that's the most beautiful look, bro. Reinforcements are here. Yeah, yeah, that that was that, that was a great uh build up. That got chills in the in the payback. Like, yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, all right, everybody came back. You can't go wrong with that. Y'all, what you got for number two? My number two, I'm gonna have to roll with uh, blood and bone. But it's, okay. Uh, Listen, uh, name Kimbo Slice, uh, name Kimbo Slice and Michael J. White when he was fighting in jails and when he whooped yeah. all that. Yeah, Michael J. Yeah. White to me, just to me, is the only dude who does karate who I believe every damn thing that he says. No, hey, that's that's real. That's real. Like when he says it, I'm like, okay, like because seeing how quick he is, then how big, like it's like it, it, it's like damn, this is yeah. him, I, him, him, and Joe Rogan. I get Joe Rogan too. Yeah, I was about to say Joe Rogan too. Like Joe oh, Rogan is, yeah. is cold. Listen, man, but. I, I think I think Michael J. White, if he if he is in a fight and he just did boxing or just did all legs, whatever he he gonna win, bro. Like he's a real yeah yeah. Like he hey, really, I, really, Vlad asked him straight up, "You a Jackie? You a Bruce Lee? I don't want Bruce Lee." <laughs> because hey, the, the, way, the way I measure that is, if I was facing somebody, this is how I do my own mind. Who would I rather fight? I'd rather fight Bruce Lee than fight him. Like, because I, yeah, like Mike Tyson the other day with Holyfield. Holyfield beat Mike Tyson twice in the ring, but I'll fight Holyfield right now and would not want to fight Mike Tyson. <laughs> I'm not going to yeah. fight. Like, oh I don't no, know. Holyfield headbutting you and throwing his shoulder at you and all type of crazy. I'm just stuff. saying. I'm not saying I, I ain't fight neither one of them. Crazy. I'm just saying. If I had to choose <laughs> to this day, I'm still like, nah, I don't want no pressure, Mike. It's like and, and, then, and then Mike and then Holyfield like six three on top of that. Like hell, listen, no, that Holyfield. What's up? <laughs> Y'all like Josh, get help, help Josh out. <laughs> Holy no, I, I, we gonna pray for you, player. That's I'm like, all jump we can in, do. jump in, y'all, jump in. Where, where the team work? All right, uh, that's a good one. Wait, y'all, you just did your number two, right? Yeah, that was my number two. Okay, my number two is The Matrix. It's not mentioned enough on here, even though everybody acts like it is. It's not, but The Matrix, the training scene with uh, Morpheus and Neo. When they when when Neo's developing his martial arts skills and you see, I ain't gonna let that slide, Josh. We mentioned the y'all mentioned the Matrix. No, we we don't. Everybody (laughs) actually do, but we really don't. Now we mentioned Django a lot, but we don't really mention the Matrix. But yeah, no, um, the the Matrix um, fighting simulation scene. Neo, boom, 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 boom. Of course, I used to imitate that with me and my friends. Like, hey, let's go, Morpheus. You know what I'm saying? Never did none of these moves in in real life, but it still looks cool. You know what I'm saying? It's still like, yo, this is. If somebody did, it'd be tight. If somebody could have a fight like that, that'd be cool. All right, number one. What you got, Marvin? I got it, man. And it's the scene where he asked for 10 soldiers after he learned that his friend was killed in, in uh in the arena. And unjustly, he 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 won the fight, and then one of the generals uh soldiers shot the guy. 
So then he went to the arena and they asked for like, you know, how many soldiers, karate soldiers, they want to fight for bags of rice. And however many they beat, they get the bags of rice. Everybody asked for like one, two, maybe three. He come ask for 10 soldiers, bro. And mm. when I say beat the, like, it's the most gruesome, it's the most gruesome tight together fight scene I've ever seen in my life. Like, he breaking limbs, turning necks. I mean, beating people's face nonstop. I, I, gotta, I gotta watch it. Mommy, I know how you feel about it, man. I'm gonna watch it. Um, Mimi says, mute the Matrix. And Naima says, no, nah, I didn't see you uh, say the Matrix. Naima said she saw the Matrix. She said the Matrix, but I ignored it. Naima, I'm looking back. I didn't see you say the Matrix. Boom. All right, y'all, what's your number one? My number one is 300. 300 is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, right before they got the Xerxes, that, that, that main battle scene. Where, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, dude, bold dude with his, with, with his shield. And yeah, the, yeah. The, when I knew it was all over, is when the son got his head chopped off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And the, that, that's when I was like, yeah, they done lost all, all that momentum. But before that, when I say whooping ass, I just say that was what yeah. adds that whole movie, that whole scene. So you, you 300 for with, sure. You can't go wrong with Leonidas. You can't go wrong with Leonidas. One of the and best. I ain't think movie. about that, bro. That's that's go. That's gosh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was about to say that. That I seen that. I was like in ninth and tenth grade. They were crazy on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was a big 300. It was almost an obsession for a minute. It had to calm down. It was, it was, it was a lot of 300 quotes. It was a lot of 300 quotes. And then on top of that 300 too, then they came out with 300 too, and that shit was ass. You know, oh, I'm saying? Saying, I, never, I, never, I, never, I don't believe in seeing something. Yeah. Oh like, my god! It's like seeing like Braveheart too, or something. Like, I'm not gonna watch. Nah, but it. you it's thinking it's that it's gonna, gonna you thinking it's gonna be cool because it's almost they based it like the cinematography behind it is kind of like Sin City. Okay, so okay. You thinking okay. it's gonna be cool like that? Hell no. It's not okay. It's not even close. It's not even close. What do you say? A lot of people sleep on Sin City and the sequel. Bro, but I love I got Sin City tattoo ready, bro. I'm getting one. Oh, I have. I'm gonna say yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Sin City was that movie. Yeah. Sin City was real good. That's when I first came to Atlanta. My friend Sin City was that. Um, all right, my number one. What are we talking about? Bolo, John Clark Van Dam, Blood Sport. Y'all know that? Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. He's blind. He gets the stuff thrown in his eyes and he had to go down like this. Boom. Mm. Right. <laughs> you can't see? What are we saying? Most unrealistic or realistic, depending on how good you think somebody can really fight. You know what I'm uh, the, slow, no, the slow motion made that movie much greater than it seems. <laughs> they just slowed oh, everything so down and, and his screaming made us think he was in it. Like, that's calm. <laughs> Yeah, I was say John Claude Van Damme is one of those. I, I believe him. Kind of, I believe him. He's on Michael John Wayne. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm like, listen, but I'm saying Bolo. I, I, you know, he can whoop Bolo's ass. I think I'm, I'm saying, but Bolo. y'all think Bolo really managed Bolo? Like, nigga, what? I break you. I'm like, okay, bro. <laughs> uh, that, that's okay, one of the people. You, he like Mike Tyson, bro. That's one part of you you don't fight. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, all right, just chill out, Bolo. You know, as soon as you bad, all right. Just, <laughs> bad. I would never want to be nowhere near Bolo. I'm like, you, you angry, you get mad about your team. I don't have time for it. All right, let's go. Next, I can't wait to hear what the women are gonna say about this. Shout out to me, my sisters always over there. Top five trash talkers in wrestling. All right, number five. What you got, y'all? Who do you have? I got Booker T. Okay. Booker T was like. I mean, I know the character that they they basically tried to make him the job talking black man. We, <laughs> we all know that. But but he did it so well. He did it well. He, he still it. does it to the like to the point where I believe that's who he really is. And he's nothing like that. Low key, him and like Triple H are like best friends. If you ever seen like his show on like A and E where him I and Triple H be like going like they they basically the same nigga on the low. He don't he don't be talking shit like that. But yeah, his yeah. character. Man. I, 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 I'm a big fan of Booker T. I really want to meet Booker T one day and, and thank him because he's the, he's the only reason my mom didn't let me watch wrestling was because of Booker T and all his <laughs> brothers. I was like, I'm not watching no Booker T. I don't have nothing to uh, Booker T was a big deal down here in Atlanta, especially when WCW was out. Booker yeah. T was like, yeah, Booker T was the man. Well, you can't tell folks nothing. Naima said, Naima said Ray Mysterio. Naima, you love Ray Mysterio. You love mentioning Ray, Ray Mysterio. Mysterio never talks. <laughs> so never. Literally, he don't say nothing. Yeah, she, she, that's her. That's her trolling. Uh, Marvin, uh, what you got for number five? Or who do you have for number five? John Cena. Okay, Mister 
<laughs> Marvin, we, we in tune. That's my number five. Man. That's what's up. He yeah. barely talked too, though, man. Now, I, like, he, I'm just saying, when he but, at one point he was like, like he was like rapping, talking, tra- like he was like he was like he rapping. Was like a, he was like a fake baby. They they tried to make him a baby face, but he was like I'm just saying. At one point, John Cena would come out and be like, "Yo, I beat you like a sitting or something from me." <laughs> It'll be fire sometimes. Low key, yeah. every once in a while. He, he was battle rapping. That's what that's why I respect him. Yeah, he's battle rapping. <laughs> huh? You said Booker T was battle rapping people? No, I'm saying if he did, you would be hey. like this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> It wouldn't be, but, the, of course, it wouldn't be the same. Of course, it's not nah, the same. It's of course not the same. I feel like it was perfect for his character, bro. It really was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I just thought that was that was the end of my wrestling time period. Was John Cena was like the last person when he became the champion. It was like that, Brock Lesnar. That time period, it was like, all right, that's it. It's over. I, I stopped watching after that. But that was good. Um, yeah. Naomi said she's trolling. Mimi said the Rock. Mimi, you already know the Rock should be on everybody's list. Yeah, bro. You you pick up Brock Lesnar, bro. You got you got a lot of people attention. <laughs> Yeah, look at, look at Mimi said the, the right. Okay, good. All right, number four. Who you got, Yahweh? I got Shawn Michaels at number four, and I feel like he should be a little higher. Okay, okay. I feel, I, I feel that you ventured into my territory with we're, 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 we're wrestling, Josh. You already know. I <laughs> say so. But uh, Shawn Michaels for sure at one point was like one of the biggest like shit talking acts like of all time. He, he, he ended up getting on drugs and all that other shit, and he kind of messed up his career. But for that, if we talking about like late eighties, early nineties, Shawn Michaels, like heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, man, please talk shit with the best of them. Yeah, I'm gonna say Shawn Michaels coming out. Uh, he was like the original, like not the original, but he was like a the a capper. He was the pretty boy. Y'all know what time yeah, it is. Yeah, but he, but he was a I'm, troll. Like, yeah, he come yeah, out. yeah. Like, you know what it is. Like, I, I'm, I'm the sexiest I'm man walking. I'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sexy. Y'all ain't. Yes, yes. He, said, he was somebody. a troll, man. He and he will beat you up. So that's always a good thing. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. That's what I, and a lot of his trash talking to me, like a lot, like hearing like the stories, like behind the scenes, of, like him getting on fights on planes and shit with people, yeah, yeah, yeah. like talking shit to them, losing and gambling. I'm like, oh, yeah, Shawn Michaels was that nigga. He was all right. He was Mark, the Drake of wrestling. That's who he was. He was the Drake of wrestling. Okay. Oh my God. Who you got for number four, Mark? Uh, I got Hulk Hogan. Okay. And like, it's well, Hulk Hogan is the it's the mannerisms. You know, a lot of these wrestlers, it's mostly just they talk, but you know, just mannerism. Hulk Hogan just come out and make motions and go crazy. The crowd go nuts, bro. Is you can't go wrong with Hulk Hogan. I'm not a fan of his. Uh, I'm a fan of him as a wrestler and ripping the shirt off the Hulk and all that kind of stuff. I'm not a fan of his trash talk because him, like Macho Man, all of that. That that, that that's not my style of trash talking and stuff. You know they like the OGs of it. Like that's not my. Nah, well, he was with the NWO though. That's that's okay, a, that's, a, that's a with the NWO. I give I give him that. But like when he's he just like, shit, we're gonna get you and beat you, brother. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just like, man, if you don't man. take your vitamins at night. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm like, but see, though, no, y'all, you ain't saying about Booker T. He gotta say, we're gonna get you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You gotta say, oh, yeah. <laughs> we gonna get you, nigga. Ooh, nigga. Ooh. <laughs> Booker T's wild. Yeah, All right, baby. Booker right. T was wild as hell, bro. All right, my number four is, uh, oh, Paul Bear. Uh, what are we mm-hmm. saying? You know, you coming out with the Undertaker. You know, you, you. This is this is the man who's. Undertaker is my favorite wrestler of all time. So this is the man who's hyping him up, so he don't got to say nothing. And he coming in with all the theatrics and saying, we going, we should be going, get you in there. All, you listen, that's that's what I'm talking about right there. So high quality trash talk. Oh, from the of course, you like the weird Paul Bear. That's, <laughs> that's his type right there. I'm just saying, because he, he like, was, like, mm, it was more okay. I, I, don't need, I don't need somebody being like, I'm going to break you in your legs, sucker. It's Paul like, Bear like, was a good, he, hey, he was a good manager. I give him that. Yeah, he was yeah, a good manager. Yeah. Paul Bear, I like his trash talk. All right, number three. What you got? Who you got, y'all? For well, number three, I got, I'm going to have to go with The Rock. The Rock? All right. I, I know I know some people might think it's low, but at That's the same extremely time. extremely low. What the hell is wrong with it, you, It's not. It, it's not when you, when I get to my number one and my number two, I mean, they top tier trash talkers. But The Rock was like, The Rock for a long time, he was like premier 
Like that's what he did. He he just talked trash. He, he was kind of like a football player on the in the wrestling ring. He was talking shit, just doing his yeah, thing. You can't bust with folks him. stuff like that. But my one and two, he he can't touch them. That's that's next level trolling that they doing. All right, all right. Well, listen, we are gonna see because I, I I think everybody's one, two, and three. Every, and by the way, people who are watching y'all, let us know y'all top five trash talkers in wrestling too. But er, this the one, two, and three should all be the same kind of like interchangeable. Ho- hopefully, because it's like there's only so many trash talkers we are gonna see. Marvin, what you got for number? Uh, who do you have for number three? I got Stone Cold for number three. Okay. That's, now that's low. That's what I'm saying. That's interchangeable. All right. We're going to see. All right. Why? why, no, why? But that's all, I, I, and that's what I see. Interchangeable is going to be the same three, but interchangeable for whatever reason. But for me, yes. I like this. Who had the most quotables? Who had the most the, the most sayings that you say over and over again? And, and man, look, the, the Stone Cold is decent, but my top two. All right, well, you try you try three sixteen right now, but all right. I was like, saying, <laughs> all right. I'm so not, my three, he still he's still top three all the time. So I'm not. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't disrespect. I don't mean to disrespect. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I said. We all everybody's one, two, and three probably gonna be the same. My number three is the Rock. You know your candy ass and jabroni and you know lifting your eyebrow up, all that good stuff. And you know before he boom 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 boom. Rudy you know, Pooh candy, bro. It's so it, uh, the list goes on, bro. The list I listen, I like. I, the rock, I, I'm, 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 giving, sure. I'm giving the rock the credit, but my number two is my is my second favorite wrestler of all time. And my number one, I just think he's the goat and what he did. He he he's he's how I think I wish Hulk Hogan and everybody else would have did it in the 80s, whatever. All right, number two, who you got, uh, Yahweh? So my number two, I'm gonna do an honorable mention. My honorable mention is Teddy Long, he's a black manager. That's the hold on that player, like he, 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 okay, yeah. okay, okay, <laughs> okay. He's funny as hell, bro. When I talk about it, you talk about like you talk about dude with the glasses. Dude yeah, the glasses. black dude with the oh, glasses in the bar. Like, hey. He's the singer. I hated him, but he had swag. He come on there with the suit. He come in there pimping. And he's like, hold on, that player. You think you're gonna hey, miss this now? Yeah, look. Sorry, and if he come out, you know something real about to happen. He about to. Yeah, organize. you know he about to fire somebody on the spot. Something crazy. Hey, okay, y'all. Who? Who? What wrestler was he managing? Teddy Long. Wait, 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 wait. He was managing. Like, he was. He managed the Rock. He managed a bunch of them, but then he ended up being like the the CEO, like right up under Vince McMahon. He just make matches. He will always come out and make a match, like yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's, my, so he's an honorable mention, but my number two, I'm gonna have to go with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You already know what Stone it is. Cold. Like what? What are we talking about, man? We talking what? about pass, pass me a beer? What? Uh, what? I'm just like just straight. We. This man sells T-shirts now. He goes his vintage T-shirts go for like eight hundred dollars yeah. from, from back then. He 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 just straight legend. and can do whatever he want. Low key, you couldn't create a character like him today because in today's climate, <laughs> like a Texas rattlesnake could be up out of here. He's definitely getting canceled. That's and that's you can't you can't say use Bible Belt quote like three sixteen and God is like what are you talking about? Uh, no, nah, he was trolling. But I'm just saying, I know, but I'm just saying like everybody else, no, nobody's going. But they're going to be like, nope, you out of here. They're like, yeah, you out of here. Uh, Marvin, who you got for number two? The Great Rick Flair. Whoa, number two. All right, number two. I, All right. And look, I, I mean, you know, but but Rick Flair, bro. But look. Well, I know because Rick, Rick Flair, he's the culture for us. Like, Rick Flair was so cool. We claimed him as our culture, even though, yeah, you know, yeah. it ain't really had nothing to do with hip-hop culture. Like, Rick Flair just became exactly. that for us. Listen, for sure. That, you already know that's my number one. But, uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with Rick Flair. You can't go wrong with Rick Flair because um, he's the GOAT mm-hmm. of, of trans talking. All right, my number two. Oh, since y'all want to do this honorable mention, I just want to throw mine out. Uh, Razor Ramon would, would be my honorable mention because oh, yeah, Razor Ramon, say hello yeah. to the bad guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? and he was extra over smooth, like you ain't got to be that smooth all the time, bro. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like his trash. Like it. Um, I'm surprised nobody said the Godfather. Y'all got no love for the Godfather? Nope, <laughs> <laughs> the money train and all that, and like all of the whole. <laughs> See, y'all talking about the culture, but then a black man come out doing y'all got no love for the culture. I said Teddy Long. Teddy <laughs> Long was Rick, actually, Rick Flair is Teddy more Long than the culture. Yeah, that was the mm. thing. All right. Number, my, my number two is Stone Cold Steve Austin. What were we saying, man? It's like uh he the way he the way he did, man, high school is just the way he controlled it. That was my whole high school experience with Stone Cold talking trash to the rock every 
whatever Wednesday or Thursday, whatever it was, whatever or Monday, Monday, I mean Monday or Tuesday, whatever, whichever night it was, it was Rock versus Stone Cold, and, and Stone Cold on the microphone was just you heard the glass break, you heard him come out, and you know it was pressure. Also, oh, yeah. how come nobody's giving credit to the CEO? None of y'all have mentioned Vince McMahon. No, I think Vince McMahon can't talk no trash now. He's a punk, man. Don't nobody like Vince McMahon. No, 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 look, low, low key. I, I was just hearing, I was listening to Kurt Angle on Joe Rogan's podcast, and he was talking about Vince McMahon. They, they say that dude's a, a, a insane workaholic, bro. He's like 80, bro. For real, he's like 80, and he still swole, he still work like he still, he like, bro, that's it's called crazy. steroids. <laughs> the do rag. The do rag era, Vince McMahon, <laughs> which is like my high school, like all that time period. Bro, Vince McMahon was wild, bro. Vince McMahon was wild. Do rag era, Vince McMahon. Do you hey, hear how that sounds, Josh? He was talking yeah. trash. Like he was, he was, he was. Vince McMahon was a villain, bro. He was, he was a yeah. menace. No, he's a real life okay. villain. He's a villain for real. Yeah. I'm aware, y'all. Wait, my God. All right, number one, who you got, y'all? Man, I got the limousine riding, jet flying. You know <laughs> Son of a gun, having a hard time keeping these gators down. Yeah, yeah we yeah. talking about we, we talking about Rick Flair, man. Rick yeah, Flair, he got it. Yeah, Rick Flair, Rick Flair was a pimp, man. We that's pimp. All I was to say. he was pimping. There's two. There's two white boys in WWE that was pimping. It was Rick Flair and Low Key. Quiet as kept. It was Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose on country <laughs> was pimping too. I just say he almost made my list. But Dusty Rose and, and Ric Flair for sure. But Ric Flair, I mean, people still quote them to this day. Yeah, now, now Rick, Ric Flair, oh, man. man, it's a lot I can say about Ric Flair because my number one. But it's just nobody wanted to make make me want to be out. I'm not. That's not my personality at all. But I really wanted to act like Ric Flair. When he, you know, what I'm saying because I'm more like the the Ric Flair crawl. Like, so Deion Sanders could fly. I oh no, that's saying. a fact. No, no, prime time. If somebody asks oh, Deion Sanders, if somebody say Deion Sanders, your alter ego prime time is it influenced by Ric Flair? He got to say yes. Absolutely. You got to say. You got to say yes. You there's know no it is. That's why they so cool. There's a yeah, reason no, why Ric yeah, Flair is a Falcons fan. Why yeah. he? Why he? Like it's a reason why. Yeah, there's no he, way that's not that, that character. That prime time is Ric Flair. They the same it's thing. Ric Flair. Bro, yeah, you see videos of Ric Flair on the strip with with Mike Tyson smoking, bro. That's just <laughs> He is literally the culture. Yeah. All right, Mark, Mark, who's your number one? I already know who it is, but the Scorpion King himself, who's your number one? Yes. Uh, Mr. Just Make Faces. If you smell. <laughs> if he raises his eyebrow, niggas go crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, it was just the charisma of The Rock to me that, oh, yeah. like, and his charisma was, it, like, Ric Flair might have had, like, it, it was like a more fine tuned as far as like how he did it, but the charisma that The Rock carried just made him the greatest to me. You can't go wrong with The Rock and The Rock. Well, everybody, he will beat you up. So it's like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, see, Ric Flair, Ric Flair talk, Ric Flair, like he's the friend who won't who won't talk before the fight. It's like I need that's cool, but I'm not scared of Ric Flair. I don't want to like I don't mind. I don't like Ric Flair. 1970s Ric Flair was whooping ass. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying I like I'm not scared of him. Exactly. The rock, the rock look up in the sky. He like what you say? Like, out of all of those, <laughs> the Rock is the greatest. The, the, out of the, all of those, like just pure wrestlers, just pure yeah, wrestlers, the, athletes. The, the rock, like he'll take your soul. The rock would be like, you like, yeah. all right, you him, like, him and Booker T were the best. Like, if we yeah. talking like no, and, and Booker T, if y'all go back and look at some Booker, man, Booker T, he's knocking people. Like, it's not even a, he's like really a fighter. Like, you be like, all right, bro, you got it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you got yeah. it. Hey, I got an honorable mention because low key, uh, this guy kind of corny, but like he just made you mad because he was good. Uh, Kurt Angle. Like he didn't really. Yeah, that was next level trolling he that Kurt. Nerdy yeah. stuff that make you mad because, like, you like, man, this nerd, and then you come out and he take the big show and fucking slam. Because yeah, he was a pure wrestler. He was like real deal, like yeah, yeah, Olympic yeah, yeah. wrestling. Yeah. Like, yeah. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt Angle reminds me a lot of Christian Leitner at Duke. You know what I'm saying? He's he's like the blue blood, like all American Olympics. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying he's like I'm Bro. the real I'm a real wrestler. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So he's like, 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 these guys are. Bro, he won a gold medal with a broken neck, bro. With a yeah. broken neck. That's just insane. 
Yeah, yeah, no, he's a he's a real yeah, wrestler. Next level athlete for sure. Yeah. All right, my listen, my last, my number one is Ric Flair because he did trash talking. This the, everything about Ric Flair is like that's how you do a promo. That's how you hype it up. Like it's like like man, bro, you got it. All right, man, we get it because yeah. he's he hypes himself up larger than life because I don't oh, think yeah. he's like you know what I'm saying Stone Cold. I'm like all right, that's you. Yeah, Rolex like, that's you. Ric Flair is like. And then I'm wearing. Did y'all ever see? He did, he did a podcast. We talked about Holly Berry. Y'all did the YouTube that uh, that clip, man. He like he like he like who? I had the best of the best. I had Holly Berry. I had. A, oh my god! Like, he like <laughs> the players that like I'm telling you, he's like damn, bro. And and I believe him. I'm like yeah, he probably had. Yeah, that. okay, I believe that's type of player that on my life. Like bro, I look at you I'm like ah, eh, no, he ain't lying. He he right. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say Rick Flair, line. Yeah, I'm like I'm like Rick Flair. I'm like bro, you got it, you got it. All right, all that, thank you everybody who's watching people's podcast. Can't wait to put this on YouTube. We got one more thing, one more question for everybody today. Uh, we'll start with you, Yahweh. Your predictions uh, for the NFL season. Ah, okay. Predictions for the NFL season. Right now, I think that um, if I'm going to have to go with like an MVP this year, unfortunately, I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Tua Tonga by Lowe. Okay. I'm okay. not a Tua okay. fan by no means. Never liked him. Never liked him. Never going to like him. Amazing. You're going to love him for the Dolphins. But, yeah, but he he he's the reason why my Bulldogs didn't win their first national championship back Okay, like, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, I, I, I can't roll with him. Okay. Um, and if I'm going to say who's going to go to the Super Bowl, it's going to be Miami. I think it's going to be Miami and the Eagles. I think the Eagles going to figure out, uh, figure out a way to, you know, go ahead and and do what they need to do. I Boy, think that Miami, I think Miami is way too powerful for everybody right now. I I, okay. I think that they're gonna overthrow the Chiefs. I think that they're gonna dethrone like they're gonna overthrow what the Bills. It's too much for them right now. Too much. Listen, that that would be a very exciting uh, Super Bowl. I don't know about the Eagles though, but but that'll be an exciting Super Bowl. All right, Marvin, what you got? Uh, MVP. I'm gonna go weird. Christian McCaffrey because bro, dude is insane. Like the number I was looking at his numbers. He balled out. I like I was looking at his numbers compared to the next person behind him. Like bro, I, I don't see how they wouldn't give it to him if he stay on his pace. Like that is just like it's, what it's gonna do is gonna make the fans and people mad and media because we've been screaming it should it shouldn't be overly quarterback driven even though they touch the ball every play right yeah. it, it should be more running backs to win it at least bro like i can understand not receiving but at least running back chris mccaffrey is an all-purpose back as you, if you've ever seen one so yeah, i go he's killing it. He killing it. He's killing it. and then for the super bowl i gotta go with the chiefs man i can't i can't see nobody in the playoffs being t- overtaking Patrick Mahomes in the moment, bro. He knows how to stay within the moment. His pedigree is deep, bro. Ever since he's been in the league, he's going to have to play on the road this playoffs, though. Ain't gonna it be that it don't way. matter, bro. You know what's going to happen? As long as, look, as long as his outfit, as long as his line stay up and his defense play competent football, he he can make do with whatever. They better say they better pay that boy then. They better pay what's his name. Uh, Listen, that's 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 that's, that's, that's a good prediction. Y'all y'all both got good predictions because either way it's a win win for me. I got a Chiefs hat and I got a Dolphins hat, so whatever. Boom boom. So <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm I don't be Chiefs biased, but you know I'm pretty much Patrick Mahomes centric over here since Tom Brady. So that's my prediction for MVP is Patrick Mahomes, and I think that the the, the Taylor Swift edition. They want that for the fans, y'all. The ratings and stuff. Come on, don't act like don't act like they don't play a part in it now. They want well, they, they, they want whatever they want. But if they get seventy points dropped on their head, like, that's, that's they just want, seventy points dropped they on want, their head. They want Middle America. They want the women vote, and they coming for Taylor Swift. They gonna they gonna watch the Super Bowl. They gonna watch the playoffs. Yeah, but imagine Miami. Imagine Miami. No, no, no. I like Tyreek Hill. I like. To, I'm a big Tyreek Hill. But he's the reason I got the uh, the Dolphins hat because Tyreek Hill. I'm like. That that man, he bet on himself. He bet on himself, and they, and they not even at full power because Ramsey hurt. In, in that case, you kind of want a Dallas Miami Super Bowl, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I, okay. I still think that Philadelphia is just the. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think I think Philly's better than Dallas. Now I can say that, but Dallas, the the, the ratings, people want to see Dallas because it's America's team. I get all that. I don't get why. All the, in twenty twenty three, everybody loves the Cowboys, but whatever. 
No, look, look. I just think we know for sure. If they beat the 49ers tonight, then I'll I, I be on that train. They ain't beating the 49ers. They ain't beating the 49ers. That 49ers defense, that's the only other team I think that can beat um, that can beat the Eagles. Yeah. That's the only other team. And, and I'm going to give you a hot take with West Nine, with your, with, with your um, Bears. The Bears are about to tank. The Bears are about to figure out a way so they can trade Justin Fields, man. Me, me and Mark was talking about that earlier. We were talking about that yeah. earlier. And look. Look, if they could figure out a way, they might, but I, I highly doubt it, bro. Like, I just – I can't see them after he doing what he doing and and, and the weapons they putting around him. Marvin but, loves Justin Fields. I would never understand why he loves him. I like – look, Justin Fields is from Atlanta, so I, I'm going to ride with Justin Fields all day. But look, I don't see – I know, Yahweh, you put him in a good situation, he's going to be decent, bro. He absolutely. That that Look. He just – and I just – Organization, so I've been hearing them saying spills to Atlanta. It sounds good with the pieces that we got. It sounds really good, but Desmond Ritter just did some shit today that was lit. That was next level. It was like, oh, he thought for three hundred yards. If he could throw for three hundred damn yards. Then shit, we, we might be in the game. Mm. Hey, that's that's how Listen and shout, and shout and shout out to the uh the Falcons kicker y'all. What's his name? Trap Suey. What's his name? <laughs> we ain't gonna do that. Yo, cool, cool. Yo, cool. Yo, way cool. Young, young, ho cool, man. I heard in my life, young, ho cool. Young, ho cool, man. That boy. Okay, I thought, I thought, okay, I don't know why somebody said that's somebody put in, uh, put that on Twitter. That was his name. Okay, I just misread the name. My bad. Yeah. No, you right. chop suey a young ho. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> You gonna go, go kick the shit out of all of us. Just watch. That's what I'm saying. Now I'm over here losing my uh Panda Express a sponsorship because y'all being silly. Not Panda Express <laughs> out of all the Chinese places. You could have chose PF Chang, Benny Hollow, one of them. You chose Panda Express. Because oh, that's, where, that's where I eat the most, my God. Uh, all right, America. Exactly. America. In the, in the America. That's what I'm saying. It's it's uh that's a that's a great question. I, I'm going. I'm going, to, I'm going to surprise a lot of people, and I'm going to say the Falcons. I'm, I'm, rooting, I'm rooting for the Falcons this year. That's bullshit. Oh, as a I, Falcons fan, I can say I, I'm rooting for the Falcons in the NFC. <laughs> I'm rooting for the Falcons in the NFC. All my, <laughs> the, team I really, the team I really wanted to, to win, uh, my boy got hurt, Aaron Rodgers. And they, that's the AFC, so it's with uh, the Jets. Yeah. That's why I wanted, that's that's I was I was my Jets hat was on the way. Like I it, literally, I'm like, man, I can't even order, I can't even order for $40 off Amazon. God dang it. He yeah, heard yeah, today. Huh? Yeah. You think you think Aaron Rodgers come back this year? Nah, not for no torn Achilles. They, he said he gonna come back next year though. He said he coming back to play. Yeah, I was rooting for Aaron Rodgers, but y'all don't sleep on the Falcons. That's all I'm telling y'all. Don't sleep on the Falcons. I ain't sleep on them at all. I think we're gonna be a playoff team. I think that yeah. we're gonna surprise some play, some people in the playoffs, but we're not there yet. Like, the we NFC, still the, like the, playing the with NFC. Is, the NFC is what the East is to me in basketball. Is pe- people sleeping on it? But don't sleep. Like, it's, it's more wide open. The no, AFC, it's way more wide open. It's yeah, way, yeah. The, the NFC is much stronger than the AFC if we're talking like for real, for real. Yeah, I'm like, like the AFC is just more. That's what my team is that. That's where more. Like, even like, like the bottom feeders. If you want to talk about the Bears, what they did to what, what Justin Fields put up damn near 400 yards on on Washington. You don't think he'll do that on the Chargers? Yeah. yeah. Don't, and and also, don't sleep on my boy in Tampa. Baker Mayfield. Let me tell y'all something. That's oh, my yeah, boy. Like Baker Bowman. Yeah, that's my boy, bro. I, I, I'm happy for him. Cle- Cleveland, Cleveland fans was being ungrateful. They've been ungrateful. They've been ungrateful. Yeah. <laughs> that's real, bro. That's real, bro. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know how y'all playing him. Like he ain't get y'all to the playoffs. Y'all first playoff win in last whatever how many years? I man? mean, they got Deshaun now though. So it's like, if I rather have, who would I rather have, Deshaun or Baker? I'm, I'm picking Deshaun all day. Listen. It depends on how many massage parlors is in the city. All right, I want to thank you. It's Cleveland. <laughs> Ain't that many massage parlors there? <laughs> it's not too many massages going around in Cleveland. In Cleveland. All right. That's a good thing. Oh, my God. Cleveland. Shout out to Cleveland, bro. Shout out to Bone Thugs Harmony. East 990. Yeah, shout out to Cleveland, man. Shout out to Cleveland. Shout out to Cleveland. <laughs> All right. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank my panelists. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Yahweh. Yahweh, can you say goodbye to everybody? Hey, man. It's been real. See y'all next week or whenever we gonna see y'all show. Sure. Hopefully next week. Uh Marvin, give us our word. We out of here, bro. Man, uh and and at times where it's increasingly getting like hard for everybody to, to survive and and live. Like we the the power of the people needs to be recognized. 
uh, the the auto care workers are are on strike and they were asking for a forty percent rate. And you know what I said to everybody that told me that they need to be asking for sixty. And we as a people, I mean, that humanity needs to realize our power and start walking away from these places that ain't paying us, bro, and force their hand. And if that means in masses, I know this sounds crazy, but if we had a sense of community, we can all walk away together and force their hand to pay us what we worth. But we had this individual mindset and this me, me, me. But we had a, a, a a sense of we, and we can walk away for two, three months. What are these? What are these corporations gonna do when they don't got no employees for two, three months, bro? And we outside living, feeding one another, and doing what we supposed to do. Still, they are gonna be forced to do what we need to do. So it's, it's unity and 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 uh and 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 power. It's power and unity, and we need to recognize that and start invoking that immediately. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Marvin. Teaching Dude. as usual. I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, uh, but audio no source says peace out, peace out, audio no source. And thank you everybody who's watching. Can't wait to put this on YouTube. This is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing off for the People's Podcast. All right.